The BTR30 Turf Roller from Brower is a gentle giant you can trust to start newly laid turf off healthy and strong. Brussels sprout processing encompasses harvesting, cleaning, sorting, trimming, packaging, and storing the sprouts, all while maintaining quality and safety standards. Sisal fibers are valued for their strength, durability, and resistance to deterioration in saltwater, making them suitable for various applications such as ropes, twines, carpets, mats, and even certain types of paper. These powered tools make woodcutting faster and more efficient than manual methods. These arms are often hydraulically operated, allowing the operator to open and close them as needed. These machines are used to harvest various agricultural products. For example, in the context of F. Lee Nicola Vivai, harvesters are designed for harvesting specific crops such as fruits, vegetables, or olives. Strip till machines are used in conservation tillage systems to till only a narrow strip of soil where the crop will be planted. This helps reduce soil erosion, conserve moisture, and minimize soil disturbance. Such machines will be used for efficient harvesting of mature broad bean crops. It may include mechanisms for cutting or pulling up plants and separating the beans from the rest of the plant material.
China is undoubtedly one of the best agricultural countries in the world. 1,462,561 million areas per year in China, 70,685.24 million kilogram. Produced watermelon. In this farm you will watch the watermelon production process. These farm workers are really good at harvesting watermelon. After the watermelons are harvested, they are collected and taken to the factory for washing. Now we will look at the production process of the melon on the farm. One of the fruits that China produces the most is melon. 13 million melons are harvested in a year in China. In these agricultural places, tons of melons are produced in a day. After the harvested melons are grown, they are sent to the factory for packaging. Pumpkin cultivation can be done in almost any soil except very heavy and sandy soils. The excess of organic and mineral components and the loamy soil increase the product quality. China produces 8 million pumpkins. The soil type required by the fruit is deep, moist and stratified. In other words, it is important that the permeability of the soil is high. Mango prefers tropical climate. On the other hand, it has been cultivated in subtropical areas in recent years and good results have been obtained. 
In this farm, the collected mangoes are washed and then packaged. Finally, we will look at the grape production. You will see the grapes, which have 14 million production numbers in China, better in this farm. These plants that grow on trees are cut with the help of scissors after taking care of them. The grapes on the trees are collected later. And packaged. Pumpkin farming involves preparing the soil, planting seeds, providing adequate water and nutrients, controlling pests and diseases, and harvesting the pumpkins when they are fully mature. Modern pumpkin farms may use advanced techniques such as irrigation systems, greenhouses, and genetically modified crops to optimize production and increase yields. In addition to fresh pumpkins, many pumpkin farms also offer a variety of related products and activities, such as pumpkin picking, hay rides, corn mazes, and seasonal festivals. Mango farming involves selecting suitable varieties, preparing the soil, planting mango trees, providing adequate water and nutrients, controlling pests and diseases, and harvesting the fruit when it is ripe. Modern mango farms may use advanced techniques such as irrigation systems, greenhouses, and genetically modified crops to optimize production and increase yields. In addition to fresh mangoes, many mango farms also offer a variety of processed mango products, such as dried mangoes, mango juice, and mango puree, which are popular both locally and in international trade.
Mango farming is an important source of income and employment in many tropical countries and contributes to the local economy and global food supply. Peanuts are a type of legume that are commonly consumed as a snack food, either roasted or boiled. They are also used as an ingredient in many dishes, including peanut butter, peanut oil, and various types of candy and confectionery. Peanuts are an excellent source of protein, healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They are particularly rich in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. A nuts farm is a type of agricultural operation that specializes in growing, harvesting, and selling various types of nuts. The most common types of nuts grown on a nuts farm include almonds, pecans, walnuts, and pistachios, but other types of nuts such as hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, and cashews may also be grown. Nuts farms typically require a large amount of land, as nut trees can take several years to mature and require adequate space to grow and produce a significant yield. Nuts farms may also require specialized equipment for harvesting, processing, and packaging the nuts for sale.
Nuts Farms may sell their nuts directly to consumers, as well as to wholesalers and retailers who distribute the nuts to grocery stores, specialty food shops, and other outlets. Some Nuts Farms also produce value-added products such as nut butters, roasted nuts, and other snack foods made from their own nuts. A kaju farm, also known as a cashew farm, is a type of agricultural operation that specializes in growing, harvesting, and selling cashew nuts. Cashews are a type of tree nut that are native to Brazil but are now grown in many other parts of the world, including India, Vietnam, and Africa. Kaju farms require a warm and humid climate, as well as well-draining soil. Cashew trees can take several years to mature and produce nuts, and require careful management and pruning to ensure optimal growth and yield. Cashew nuts are typically harvested by hand, as the nuts are encased in a hard, toxic shell that must be removed before the nuts can be eaten. Cashews are a nutritious food source, containing protein, healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They are often eaten as a snack food or used as an ingredient in various dishes, such as stir-fries, curries, and salads. Cashews are also used to produce cashew milk, cashew butter, and other value-added products. Cotton must be a successful deep profile alluvial to have high yield and quality, with a plant that can grow in any soil. Soils that are deep, sandy clay, high water holding, permeable, sweet and easy to irrigate are ideal for agriculture. The cotton plant is a shrubby tree and is widely cultivated in over 90 countries for its fiber and seeds. About 2.5% of the cultivated land worldwide is used for cotton production. According to the data of the International Cotton Advisory Committee ICAC, while the total cotton production in the world was 26.1 million tons in the 2019-2020 season, China's share was 5.8 million tons. Most rose species are native to Asia. Fewer species grow in Europe, North America, and Northwest Africa. 
Roses are widely cultivated for their beauty and fragrance and have cultural significance in many societies. Currently, China's largest high-tech rose project is put into production in Lanzhou. There is a 34-hectare rose project. The cactus plant, which can live comfortably even in desert conditions, comes from the succulent plant family. Cactus, it grows in both North and South America, Northern Canada and even the African continent. There are very large cacti as well as small cacti. The cactus is thick skinned to prevent water loss. It is a plant that is in the last place in terms of cactus production, cactus name and appearance. There are more than 2000 species on earth. The flowers and the size of the flowers vary according to the species. For cactus production, it is necessary to pay attention to its care and soil, mostly in the sun. Cactus production is of great importance as it is suitable for use in many areas. In other words, some types of cactus plant are suitable for use in sewing thread making and some types in areas such as woodworking. Cactus plant is a complete water source in terms of its content. It is possible to understand this with the help of a knife. Although sunflower is not a very soil-choosing plant, it likes rich soils with good drainage and not high ground water. Does not like soils with high acidity. Therefore, if it is to be grown in an acidic soil, it is necessary to add lime to the soil. Watering a sunflower requires attention. In order to obtain sunflower oil, the seeds of the mature sunflower plant are collected first. These seeds are peeled and ground. Cold pressing is then used, which is a method of producing many vegetable oils. In this way, oil is obtained from peeled and ground seeds. Onions are mostly biennials or perennials, but are usually processed as annuals and harvested in the first growing season. The onion plant has a fan of hollow, bluish-green leaves, and the bulb at the base of the plant begins to swell when it reaches a certain day length. Onion cultivation is done in three ways. One direct seed sowing. It is obtained in a 5 to 6 month period in the same vegetation period. 2. Cultivation with Kiska, Shallot In this type of cultivation, shallots are obtained in the first year. In the second year, these shallots are planted and a head is obtained. The People's Republic of China is the world's largest onion producer, with a production of 24,775,344 tons per year. India comes in second with an annual production of 22,071,000 tons. With a production of 3,284.420 tons per year, the United States is the third largest onion producer. Flowers fertilized with pollen carried by the winds turn into fleshy and oily fruits. The fruit is green at first and becomes glossy black after ripening. The olive tree is a very valuable tree in terms of the oil obtained from the pulp and seed of the fruit. The tree has a very imposing and aesthetic appearance. The most important climatic factor limiting the spread of olives. Olives are generally grown in places with an annual average temperature of 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Olives can withstand high temperatures up to a maximum of 40 degrees Celsius, provided that they are well watered.
Fresh tomatoes are sorted, washed, and inspected for quality. Tomatoes are blanched in hot water and then cooled in cold water to remove the skins. The peeled tomatoes are chopped and milled to remove the seeds and pulp. The tomato juice is concentrated by evaporating off some of the water to make tomato paste. Grapes are typically grown on trellises to allow for better exposure to sunlight and air circulation. The vines are planted in rows and spaced apart according to the variety of grape being grown. Grape vines need to be pruned regularly to control their growth and ensure that the fruit produced is of high quality. Pruning involves cutting back the shoots and branches to allow for better air circulation and sunlight exposure. <music> Grapes require regular watering, particularly during dry spells. Irrigation is usually done using drip or overhead irrigation systems. Before the harvest begins, the olive grove is prepared by clearing the ground beneath the trees to create space for collecting the olives. The trees are pruned to remove any damaged or diseased branches, and the remaining branches are tied down to make it easier to reach the olives. There are different methods of harvesting olives, depending on the size of the orchard, the variety of olive, and the level of mechanization. One common method is hand picking, where workers use rakes or their hands to remove the olives from the branches. Another method is mechanical harvesting, where machines shake the trees to loosen the olives, which are then collected in nets. After harvesting, the olives are sorted to remove any leaves, twigs, or other debris. The olives are then separated based on their ripeness, as this affects the flavor and quality of the olive oil that will be produced. The olives are typically pressed or crushed to extract the oil. The oil is then separated from the solids and filtered to remove any impurities.
Once the oil is produced, it is packaged in bottles or other containers and labeled for sale. Walnut trees prefer well-drained soils with moderate moisture and a pH between 6.0 and 7.5. The site should also have good air circulation and protection from frost. Walnut trees are typically propagated through grafting or budding and are planted in rows with a spacing of about 30 to 35 feet between trees. This high-speed disc is a true bi-season tool that cuts, sizes, and contains high levels of crop residue, improving soil quality and maximizing crop yields. Available in a rigid mounted or trailing configuration. It can be custom equipped with three disc blade sizes and spacing configurations to easily deepen stems and stubble, bury brush, and level irrigated areas. Designed for durability in harsh conditions and flexibility to meet your needs. A paper chain flower pot leaf is used with a paper flower pot transporter. The paper chain flower pot is made of special paper and water soluble glue. It takes air and water and brings it evenly to all roots. This makes the plants healthier and stronger. Paper chain pot consists of honeycomb shaped cells. The paper chain pot will decompose into the soil a few months after planting. Cultivation with shallot in this type of cultivation, shallots are obtained in the first year. In the second year, these shallots are planted and a head is obtained. The grown onions are collected by agricultural machinery even later. Oxbow is the proven leader in corn harvesting technology. For over three decades, Oxbow has designed, engineered, and manufactured specialized corn heads, delivering superior performance in demanding conditions in more than 20 countries around the world. Oxbow's industry-exclusive soft-touch technology and long history of utilizing gathering belts result in optimal ear handling for less loss when every kernel counts. Oxbow remains the worldwide leader in specialty harvesting solutions by delivering not only superior corn heads, but also with our global commitment to parts, service, and customer support.
Double Wheel Ditcher was born as an internal and entirely unique Cosmico project and holds so far the world record for its dimensions and power. 2.000 kg, it's the most colossal and vigorous machine of its kind. The strong and big rotors equipped with knives and blades work perfectly when opening and creating large sized ditches, even reaching a depth of 145 centimeters. These citrus dwarf rootstock models can lead to a real evolution in the citrus industry. The fresh fruit is still handpicked and the process is relatively efficient as there are dwarf rootstocks. This gave rise to the concept of a walkable garden where no ladders or platforms are required for harvesting. This format also allows for mechanical pre-pruning and improves the application of phytosanitary products. Product harvesting for fruits to be processed industrially is completely mechanized. As in other tight planting systems, in-row harvesters and pruning are carried out with disc pruners. The FTX148 offers both big machine performance and unparalleled operator comfort in a compact utility size. The FTX148 provides the right combination of purpose-built mulching tractor and versatile multifunction carrier. Salad vegetable harvesters designed and built to maintain the highest quality of your produce. Learn more about all our machines suitable for harvesting lettuce, lalo, romaine, iceberg, escarole, gentilina, etc. It has many features such as the large collecting tunnel with large trees, an innovative cabin that slides down for easy transport of the machine, body-safe nylon grip plates for effective olive retention, air-conditioned, center-mounted cabin for comfort, and more. Thanks to this machine, olive trees are collected easily. Pesticide efficacy tests are typically conducted in experimental plots involving the application of multiple chemical treatments at different application sites and timings. The first system can control up to 24 individual booms, which can independently apply up to 24 different chemical treatments in each field plot area.